Uh, I'm very optimistic about human beings because I think ultimately, even things that I disagree with, like like woke ideology, I think ultimately what they're trying to do is make the world a better place. What is that? What is wh what is woke ideology to you? Woke ideology. I mean, I just I, I think, think we need to define it because yeah. before I jump in and. Well, I think one of the best ways to describe it is a, a group of ideas that are also ta attached to ideas that are ridiculous. And I think that's the case with right-wing ideology as well. I think we have an inherent problem where we're very tribal and we're looking for a team. And ultimately, in this country, there's only yeah. two teams. Yeah, that's right. There's team right and team left. I have a yeah. whole bit about it's like I'm the doing Crips and the, it it's like the Crips yeah. and the Bloods. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You know, and if you're yeah. not on one, the other one. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard not to be on one. And th things get captivated. You know, like, well, there's certain things that cannot be questioned. There's certain things like a man can be pregnant and, you know, uh, you could, you should have uh, drag queen shows in kindergarten because it's not a problem. And then people go, well, what about children? What about that? But well, you were talking about queer issues. Okay, we've got to leave it alone because this is, a, you know, in the woke world, everything LBGTQ is, you know, beyond reproach and you have to leave it alone. In the right wing world, you have preposterous notions about a woman's right to choose. You have uh, radical control over people's bodies that is based on religious ideology. You know, conception begin or life begins at the moment of conception. And even in cases of rape, abortion should be illegal. Like, so we're so polarized with preposterous ideas on both the, the right and on the left where you can't, be, you can't question things. Because if you do, it's, it's against the tribe. And then you'll be a person without a country or a person without a, a group to be a part of. That's what gets me. It's not even the ideology. It's the, the mechanisms involved are so inherent to the human condition that we, we will adopt a predetermined pattern of thinking and behavior because it's more convenient than formulating our own ideas and, and thinking about things on their own. Yeah, and there's a lot of enforcement on both sides. Yes. There's a lot of police work. It's yep. not. I mean, I think people have always been into their opinions, but but what's really new is how is how um, how policed it all is. Yes, and attacking people That's who what I differ mean. from the convention. Yes, and also virtue signaling, which is a completely new thing, where you can publicly display your disdain for someone who steps outside the lines, and therefore you supposedly boost your social cred. But it doesn't really work that well. It's kind of akin to um, name dropping. Mm -hmm. Like people think, oh, I was at Leonardo DiCaprio's and it was amazing. People think, wow, they're going to think I'm amazing. I was at Leonardo DiCaprio's. Mm -hmm. they, but really they're thinking, look at this fucking idiot name dropping. Like it's so obvious to everyone else, but yet name dropping is still a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't work, but yet it's like almost people can't help but say it. Or when people brag about something that they've done or brag about how much money they have or brag about their accomplishments, you know, they think, well, I'm not even bragging. I'm just saying what I've been able to do, and then, <laughs> you know, and they, they just rattle off facts that may or may not be important to what they're talking about because they want you to know that they've got this thing and they think that that's going to help them socially with you. You're going to look at them in, in a, a higher class of human being now, but it doesn't work. And I think that's the same thing with cancel culture and with virtue signaling. It doesn't really work. Even if people repeat it and know. chime it, cancel culture works. I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know what you mean. Like, it doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't work it, in the sense of it doesn't elevate the person who thinks it's elevating them. Oh. Okay. You know, the, pers the person who virtue signals and, you know, uh, attacks. It does within that group, though, mm -hmm. probably. I mean, I, this is way outside yeah, my, I my pay grade, saying. but I, I mean, I think it's working – to me, when you say it doesn't work, that means it would like be failing. It, it's clearly working on some level because it's so big, all of it. Yeah, and we're so at each other's throats that it's that definitely there's happening. Oh, yeah, which means it works on some level. What I'm saying is like the 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 motivation for it is to create a benefit for the person that yeah. is doing the canceling yeah. and a person that's doing the virtue signaling and the person that is espousing these these beliefs that are in line with the ideology without regard regardless of facts and I don't think that works and I think there's an inclination to do that and I that's why I relate it to name dropping I think it's one of those things that everybody yeah. knows what you're doing when you do it but yet people still do it yeah yeah I mean it to me it's just like 
it's all part of the same rush to get a single to get a single narrative yeah and like got to find out what the deal with this thing is mm-hmm. got to come to your opinion on it got to have your story on it got to got to like got to come to that narrative and then and then usually there's two like one narrative on each side right mm-hmm. and then they're in, then they're in conflict obviously designed to be that way because i mean you can sell more tickets with a fight than you can with right. like people agreeing so there's yeah. the, there's this commercial interest in that if you're talking about like cnn and fox there's like no there's really no upside for either of those places to be like we really agreed with what they said the other night that's like bad and dumb business wise but there's this rush for like a single narrative and you see it in you see it in 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 just to take it back to entertainment too you see it in entertainment all the time where it's like let's let's make this as simple as possible let's tie it up nice yeah let's yeah. and 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 that's the world doesn't really work that way but our world is increasingly working that way yeah and um there's like a concept that i think about a lot is ambiguity in my like when i'm when i'm making a a a a, a work of art okay ambiguity just means something that has more than one meaning people say like well what do you what do you mean what were you trying to say it's like well not one thing for starters not one thing saying one thing there's a word for that like if i'm making a if i'm making a movie and i'm trying to tell you one thing one idea like about how the war works or something we usually call that propaganda Mm -hmm. like if i'm trying to just convince you of something yeah but but ambiguity is like I'm trying to show you a couple of different things that can all coexist that in some ways might seem on the surface to be mutually exclusive, like a guy who's a killer but also has like a, an emotional life or a woman who's like like, like deeply dishonest but also has this like tremendous sense of integrity. It's possible for more than one thing to be true at the same time. Yeah.